Netflix, Okay. Yeah, we can maybe after this. Let, 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 let me just go and see it after this. But um, it's just unfortunate. The Sanga will not be using it much, but the making of the program, even a car ordinary computer, even the ordinary, I mean, Adobe, or even the old one, will have worked in the wheel. Yeah. If I, you are working on say, say, say new version, eh? Hmm. Right, okay. Let, let, let's do that afterwards. Since, as I'm saying, the problem of today has been communication, since I was already here. You know, it was almost impossible to say, classes in Calabo, why are we here? I don't believe maybe you have understood that one. Communication is better to be done earlier. Okay. Um, can someone go to the side here? control up there. The body control jammer is some I see here. But when in here, you can't get a good you know, it's either a better way to get a body control or a better go back and be physically here. Okay, um. Maybe my curiosity was that good, good. My curiosity is that the good uh, assignment in a little Jew Mao that take a one you wouldn't go back today. I was a little. Is it the good two weeks ago? They were covered up against all the time. Last week. Which class is that one? Yeah. Which Alex, I get it now. Oh, Jid. Because the normal protocol was supposed to, to be good. The lecture was supposed to make sure about the chicken winner. Then telling you to do. Then the good goes and just like find out the chicken winner, the message will Which was not supposed to be the case. Five, the time I, I used that, that place, but I got how, eh? I didn't even know. Whoever, whoever is supposed to use it, I say, okay, I want to put it in because I don't, I didn't know what is it in the computer. Yeah, but let's hope it's going to work okay. All right. Um, there, I wanted us to do something. Let's just so, I mean, we will not finish all the time. I will be with it, right? So that you can continue whatever you do. But still, we need to do something about this. Something to do with what is called headline casting. And it's something to do with the headlines, the normal headline that we know. And the, if you say headline, um, if you think about the news, you can't have news without headlines. So I've got headlines in news. In print news, we have good headlines. We have good headlines in the um, broadcast news, right? So definition of headlines would be so many definitions. But the thing is, um, as we know that uh, we think about communicating, and uh, when you are communicating through news you need to have i mean it starts from with the headline right and the, if you think about news it's how you it's when you think the importance of a headline because without a headline whoever reads or listen to the news might not even have passion or interest to read it right and if it's a newspaper the headline is the one that is going to make someone to say, I want to read this newspaper, right? So the way the, the, the headline is going to be framed, if it's going to be framed in, in, a, in a professional way and the appealing way, people, people are going to read the, the, the article. If it's not, it's going to be the opposite, right? People are not going to get the problem, right? And the, 
usually the way the headlines are made are designed in the sense that the, when you look at the page you, you, you don't have to struggle that the, which is the headline right they are placed on a page in a manner that you can immediately know that this is the headline this is not the headline right so there are different elements that are used for that to happen right uh, I do believe if we have seen newspapers, we know we can obviously even if you can take a newspaper to show you, you are you are going to be able to know that this is the name of the newspaper, this is the headline of, of a story, this is another headline, because it, it has got some other elements that you use, you deliberately apply for for it to be appealing to, to the people. And how do you know that a headline is, 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 is a good headline? You know it, like says there's some other people here, they talked about that the, if you can take a page and shrink it into a small size and show it to someone, if some, that person would be able to tell which is a headline, which is not a headline, which is a, 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 name, a name of the newspaper, right? Which is a, um, a masterhead. If people could be able to differentiate, it means your headline is designed in a, a good way, right? And the, as I say that the, since the headline is the entry point, uh, it is, is something or an element that will attract our leaders into your your article. And you, the, the, all the, uh, I mean, the elements that you can use to, to draw the attention are uh, usually used in this one, uh, the, the headline. Um, just uh, as um, so many concepts that we have in the journalism, whereby you don't have like a specific one definition, you might have one item defined in so many ways. Some we just talk about the characteristics. Um, this is just some of the short, short, shortest ways of, of, of talking about it. Say a headline is an abstract sentence. One of the elements. Usually it's only about five to ten words. It could be even less. What it means is a headline does not have so many words. And obviously a headline, a good headline, like main headline as we talk about here it doesn't have to, to, to be a sentence a complete sentence usually it's just a, a few words or a phrase and it, it's, a, it's a it has usually it has a subject and a verb right and then maybe probably having an object right usually you I mean one the, the ones who who, 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 can, who who decides to say you like to have a headline that is the having an impact. Usually you utilize uh, the verbs, right? A verb, a verb which is a doing word. So you make sure that you have a good verb, which is an action verb in a headline. When you are, once you have an action verb, it means it's going to be uh, an interesting, it's interesting, uh, or an interesting headline. Um, as we already know, obvious element, the aim of the main aim of the headline is to grab the reader's attention, right? Ask this question as you 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 compose a headline. This is just another question, okay? If people see my head, my, 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 my five to ten or weights, will they know what the article is, is about? This is to talk about if it's a good headline because regardless that you we think of a headline as a, something or a statement or some words that are aimed at attracting uh, readers into your art article. It is, should also uh, contain, it's like you, you should be able to more or less summarize what is being talked about in the article. That's why it's important to say if someone could read an, a headline and they read a story, and they discover that uh, this headline was misleading. I thought it was this, about this. It means it's not a good headline. But when somebody read a headline, and then go into that, they go say, oh, okay, I think I've known what I wanted to do. It means uh, it's, it's a good headline. So what it means, 
it should reflect what's in the, in, in the story. And the um, uh, care, say here, care, uh, let's just go to the, okay. So here, just say, thinking about the most important rule about headline, right? Or headlines. Uh, the words, which, which is the exact thing I'm talking about, right? The words in a headline must represent accurately what is in the story. So accuracy is one of the most important key of, of the headlines, right? Because if you have a headline that is not representing accurately, not just representing, but representing accurately what's in the story, it means you're going to have, if people say a misleading story or a misleading headline, that's, that's what, what, what happens, right? So it's an important element to, to keep in mind uh, that the element. Yes, some of the definitions that, that other, other defined say a headline is a heading consisting of words uh, and phrases falling above the story in a newspaper, magazine, newsletter, or website, right? So I think that's a definition basing on those three platforms, right? Newspaper, magazine, newsletter, and website. Whereby it's obvious to say, if it's a headline, you expect it to be above uh, the, the a story, right? You don't expect to have a headline below a story, right? So something like that. If you think about the electronic media, like radio, TV, um, if you talk about the headline, uh, you talk about the uh, usually you could say this is maybe that statement. Um, or let me see if they, they, they put about that. You talk about it's it spoken or it, it headline is spoken just before the news is broadcast. But the, if you think about the definition we talked about, since it's like a summary, the way headlines in broadcast are. They are like those summarizing statement. It's a summarizing statement at the beginning of the story, right? So if you listen to radio, uh, a headline in the ra on radio, it sounds as if it's a lead. If you read the newspaper, you know that you are going to have a headline. Then you are going to have the first paragraph. Right? The first first paragraph in newspaper is called a lead, right? But when you go to electronic media like radio, TV, that lead would be a headline. You don't have, I know I was dealing with, I think a certain class, whereby you tell them to write a story for radio. Now they are putting headlines which are for print. For If you have a headline whereby a sentence is not making sense, that is not for electronic media, right? If you have uh, Johnny arrested, that's not on radio. You got to just have a, a headline on radio, Johnny arrested. People will be asking, who, 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 which John is this one? Eh? So on radio, it's more or less like uh, if you see the read, lead, uh, whereby it's, it's a sentence, a complete sentence, right? That is make, stands on, in its own and it makes sense. That's what you have already. But still, it's at the beginning of the story. Although, uh, somehow, it's at the beginning of the story. It, it is somehow like just a summary of what, what's in the story. Uh, more, more. But still, that's uh, the radio. The, the idea is the same whereby you are, you are using it to attract leaders' attention, to go listen to the story or watch the story and the like. Um, so as I said, if you talk with, with, I do believe with a lead, we know about the lead, which is the first paragraph. Uh, also, a lead in the, in the print will be playing a little bit of a role, similar to a headline, a little bit, but not much, since people will read the headline, then we will read the, we'll read the first set, uh, paragraph, right? So if the first paragraph is appetizing enough, they will go into the main story. So somehow, if you think about the print, uh, statements that are going to, or maybe let me say, uh, the ones that are used, or elements that are used to attract leaders uh, in the news in print, would be first the headline. Second would be the lead, 
right? So that's that's the thing. But still, our focus is is on um, the headlines. So when you talk about the headline casting, it's like now that process of coming up with a headline, right? You want to come, well, this is one of the questions that even uh, people who are not journalists ask. How do you come up with such headlines, right? Some will ask you, they, they do believe you, some of them will ask you, where do you get the stories? Well, that's a common question that people ask journalists, right? What are these stories? Where do you get them, right? So if you are a journalist, you know how to gather stories, right? Gather information, right? It's so, all so called good news gathering, right? Whereby you link it to the news sources, right? You see e uh, events and you, you have to have the mind of uh, what is called a no nose for news. And then you see, uh, when you have nose for news, you are able to connect ordinary events that can turn into news oh, yeah. events, right? Then because they are ordinary events, but you know that this event, if I, I talk to this person, if I talk to that person, it will be news. That's how you do. So it's all about being uh, having a nose, nose for news and also being able to identify sources of news. That's what we, we, we do. But now when it comes to headline, it means headline casting, it means you have got the information. You collected the information in news gathering, you have them. So you have to make a decision to say, let me write something up there that it will make people read the article. That's why it's not something that you can just write anyhow. Because somehow people are going to be told to write a headline. They are not going to think much about it. They just write anything. But if you think about it, okay, the headline you have written here. Can people be interested to read it because of that headline, read the story? See, most of them are not, they cannot. That's why this element of thinking about how best can you come up with headlines is necessary for as journalists, right? You should not just be as like ordinary people. We shouldn't do um, uh, 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 things in, in, in terms of the news, uh, coming up with news headlines and the like, while we know exactly what we do. So as you see, uh, the number one element, as we already know, that we are thinking about appealing to the leader, reader, right? It should be something, a statement, if you say, are the ways that are going to appeal to, 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 to the reader, right? Because the, what, what, what you are going to do is, it's not you who like to read, but you want to make sure that the audience are going to come up with, I mean, to, 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 to take your uh, story and the read the headline and they go into the headline, right? So, the important starting point is that whereby you think about the audience. Why are you thinking about the audience? It means it's all elements of the audience. It's more or less like I think you heard about being able to analyze your audience, right? To know that, okay, they say the, demo, the demo, demographics of the audience, right? The, the audience I'm appealing to. What kind of way is, are, are they? Are they, is it a, a very, uh, maybe a, uh, a literate group, or maybe it's the middle class, or maybe, and in, am I, is this story for the, maybe uh, young people, or is it the story for older people, right? Um, so the danger is, if you are not thinking about the audience, right? You discover that you can frame the headline or the headline, which might appear as if it's appearing, maybe let me say, to college students, right? So if someone who is not a college student really see the headline and the headline suggests that he's talking about it only to the college students, people, somebody will say, oh, this is not for me, right? Which means whatever you, however you're going to come up with your headline, you should put yourself in the shoes of the readers. You say, okay, if we, a reader will read this, what, what meaning is, it going to, to, is he going to get out of it? So if the meaning is going to be um, exactly what you wanted the person to, 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 to get, you say, okay, according to my, to my story, I wanted someone to get this, this uh, perspective, right? So, as I say here, you say, you, you cast a headline and a member of your audience conclude by saying, that's no, not my concern. 
and then that that if if that is not maybe that's your target audience it means there's a problem right um so okay um what, let me see here so i think that's maybe the first element element we can think about I think in this one uh, we will connect it somewhere else with our big bike bike we this 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 is supposed to be down i don't know how it jump is going to be here but this for just for this we could just say an example of a headline but now you can see the way it looks that the uh, you know it's it's, it's, it's in the headline is it's loud in our face right once the way the way it looks you even get interest acquitted and it is inviting you to to play the mode okay we has been acquitted, acquitted of what i know you're going to have that, that that we are going to talk about it because this is the main headline and this is one of the type of headline that's what we want to talk about eh? a, a type whereby it runs from diff, in, through different columns right it's one of the type and then you have got that sub headline which is the um also uh, another area where we're going to talk about um as a, a specific type of uh headline what, what is what is called a deck right so you have a headline and the main headline you have got what are called the headlines that are called deck decks or whatever that, those are the, the, the ones so this is just like an example of it and then in this one has got different types and as i'm saying we are going to be back in this one because you, can, you have to see when you go to the types this one is a type whereby we have columns here we could have one two three four maybe four columns that headline runs through all those columns eh? so we have a specific type of a headline whereby you design it across columns so we might refer to this this type later on um in this one i think this one can it this i think it's funny mm -hmm. that there was in let me just see if you can play this one it had a number of, from the new york times it had a number of headlines mm -hmm. uh, i don't think that is doing anything here okay all right let's not waste time here um okay so what is said here say so when you think about headlines um is something that you can as as a, a writer if you are communicating through articles and the, through news using news is something that you cannot do without i don't know if you have ever seen a, a story without a headline and then you read you read the story that would be over the scenario right so we have got an unwritten rule in communication process where we are communicating in journalism news whereby you have to have a headline in one way or the other right and it is something that the people should just have to know that if it's a headline it should not just be an ordinary if it's a sentence not an ordinary sentence it should be something that is a more, much more appealing right and also apart from being appealing since we are attracting we're attracting the the uh, audience an element of objectivity is also needed right um as the the news is presented to the audience uh, the audience tend to believe that the, the stories that have been shared are objective stories right and they usually get to, to, to read the story because they believe that that oh this is an objective story if that's they, they have that in mind that this is not an, an object when i say objective story we are talking about uh, a story whereby a writer is not taking any sides right you are just uh, covering both sides fairly right that's what you're talking about so once the audience have that in mind that oh this 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 is a fair story it will appear that you are just reporting you are just taking something there and reporting but once they feel that there is no objectivity most of them will not read the, 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 the article unless if maybe they support your idea they will just know that ah, maybe this person is biased towards this right 
I think you know some other media institution who, that we know that they are biased, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. To the extent we don't even care to, to, to listen to the news because we know that they will just be talking good about this one side, they will never talk bad about another side, right? So that's how poor, but, but if you listen to, for example, Malawi, a lot of people are going to listen to Zodiac. Why? They believe that Zodiac is subjective, right? It does not take sides. It will just present facts as the way they are. So since the headline is the one that is now telling us what is coming in the story, it's most like shouting the story to us. Objectivity is supposed to start in the headline. A headline alone should show that is a, a neutral headline, right? Once the headline shows as if it's targeting one side, that cannot be something that is helpful to, to, to invite more people, more readers, right? And uh, as I'm saying, it's the role and the duty of each and every uh, reporter or journalist to prove, it's, it's like you are trying to prove, eh? that I'm objective because normally they would you know they 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 say it maybe on radio wow well, we, we we don't favor any side they say it but the, on the other side the audience will see it you don't have to tell them right so if they see it they will say ah I think these people they are professional enough right um care and in this one when it comes to the newspaper, I think we can make a distinction because in the newspaper, we have got specific sections where the writer will, will be biased, right? Usually, we have got what are called editorials, right? You, you know about editorials. You would have an editorial, which is the, like an editorial for the whole editors, like a newspaper, newspaper comment. Uh, so, once it's editorial, and that's why the distinction is people needed to make a distinction between editorials and the news, ordinary news. Auditorials should not, ordinary news should not uh, appear to be editorials, right? You should, you should know this, these are not the editorials. Right, okay. So when we, we think about the prerequisites pre of, of casting hell, right? Usually, if you think, go to the media institution, a sub editor. Or editor is the one that is given the mandate to come up with the headline. But normally, if you are a reporter, if you go and gather information, you also come up with your headline. But the editor or some editor will come and look at your headline. If he's not satisfied, he is going to it usually changes the headline, right? So, uh, you say a well crafted headline must grab the attention. Uh, of the reader and lure him to the body text. If the reader is going to read the headline and it doesn't have interest to go to the to read the whole body of text, it means that's not a very good headline. Um, and yes, it says a headline uh, is that newspaper voice uh, that is literally crying, come, come, come. It's like inviting you to come, right? Before your audience you can respond to, to your headline recording that uh, there are some things you must put uh, before they, they come. For if they say, no, no, I don't want to come, it means it's not something good. So, as I said, beginning, when you say you are trying to, to, to craft your good headline, you start with knowing your audience, right? Because it's like you are making something for someone. So you can't make something appropriate for someone if you don't know who that someone is, right? So knowing your audience is everything because you need to know who really they are. We're talking about the demographics, right? Age groups, whether they are middle-aged people, whether they are large people, I mean, old people or not. What is their preference in terms of uh, uh, what you are supplying them, what, what you are supplying them is news, right? So, if you are giving them news, you have to be able to, I mean, to know what, what, what type of news are you giving them? Because news is not just one type, right? You can, you even a newspaper, you see, you have got different types. Eh? You could be maybe it's sports news, maybe it's uh, whatever. So, uh, if you are giving them 
sports news. You should be able to know that I think this audience, they, like, they love sports, right? So if I give them this, they are going to, to be interested, right? If I give them this, it's not, so it's all about that. And would, you, would they prefer, prefer what well, is now? You, if you remember that we studied with the typography and the like, what we are doing, because this is falling under information, I mean, communication graphics, right? We are communicating through text and images and sounds, moving images, still images. So what we are, what, 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 what we are doing here, it means we have to be making decisions, right? To say, okay, which, which is the, uh, I mean, if it's, I think it, uh, when, when we go back to, to talk about headlines, we see that it's not a matter of choosing a font specific only because it's a headline. Now, because it's a headline, you can like the way it is here. You can see that that no, you are you are audience is a headline. If you look at that one and look at the rest, you see that it's not exactly the same. Why is that looking uh, uh, that the top one outstanding? It's larger in the size, right? Larger in size. If you see comparing to the bottom one, you are good. It's bought. They are bought. So you use those elements. For example, if you say that I'm going to have a headline in board, there should be a reason right? why, why you are going to put it in board. But at the same time, there should be why? Why are you trying to, to, to put it that way? Right? Uh, and uh, in whatever case we are going to talk about, it will depend for the the nature of the stories, right? Because uh, on the pages, like if it's print, 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 you might have different stories, right? So there might be a story that is, we can perceive that this is the most important story. And now if there's a most important story according to you, you can't design that story in terms of uh, the headline, the, 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 the bodiness, the size, the same as the stories you think uh, are not that important, right? So you deliberate, uh, manipulate your headline, uh, typography, and even let me say size, boldness, and all these uh, elements because you are trying to make it outstand outstanding, right? If you see the words are in bold, what it means is you want you are emphasizing, right? So you should be able to to to, to know that. Uh, I mean, it's all about preferences because when you say, if you know that, I think when I write, if you, we, we choose this font, most people they read the story. So it means maybe you know the idea that they like this type of font, right? So that, that's the, the, the part of knowing your audience. And also here, talk about, I say, we say occupation. Eh? You, you think about their occupation. Are they the middle class? Is it the, the, the class that is the upper class or not, right? Which means it will link with the level of income, right? So that uh, there is a connection between the level of income and the big upper class and lower class, even how people respond to issues, right? There is a linkage. Uh, their educational levels is also another element that you can you can evaluate, and uh, also. Your audience is the say the ice track. Like um, you talk about the they 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 talk about the way you if you have got the I mean articles even online, the way you are able to pick um, information, the pace, right? The way you read is most of the way, but you have information, do they able to maybe to find information quickly as opposed to the, the others, right? If, if you use, if you change it, how quickly can they able to uh, to get that the information? And then you have also the proportion of, uh, I mean, the, the male, female, right? What is the makeup of the, the audience? Um, and also, maybe if you can have information about reading, reading habits, right? How long do they usually take, spend in reading, uh, right? So, 
Bottom line, we are thinking about uh, also all those elements uh, that are going to you determine your to that you, you know your audience and the, it could help you in your process of uh, designing, right? Uh, and they also they said sometimes it could be a problem for you to know what your audience is. So since assuming this is maybe a newspaper uh, film, eh? so if you are not so sure, you can conduct yourself like research. They say here, you can even have what is called a, 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 pro, a prototype paper, right? You can create what could be more or less like a, what is called a dummy paper, eh? just like a sample, right? I think in Malawi it happened before when there was a change from one party system to multi-party system. People didn't know how to vote through the ballots, right? So what they did, they came up with the double votes, I mean, she's, uh, voting uh, papers, right? Like uh, prototypes, right? So they, it was, they were black and white ones, and now they made them give the people uh, recreate a scenario whereby, like a polling station, right? To see how effective people can manage to, to vote, right? So it's the same with this, okay, I don't know that my audience, you can have a small research or survey or make a product uh, uh, or questionnaire or paper to just try to find out uh, the information to know your, your audience, right? Um, okay. And the, all the same, as I say, you research, you do your research if you're not so sure to get the information or know your audience, right? So, arrive of knowing your audience, uh, establish and implement the headline policy, right? So this is like, you have known your audience, what it means, you need, you need to have a headline policy, right? Your headline policy will be linked to your audience, right? Since you have known um, what kind of maybe group they are, right? So if you say, okay, it's made up of all the people, right? It means you're going to make a decision, say, okay, I think, our headlines should be much more broader, or maybe large fonts, very large, because the people who are going to be reading, if we, they are going to be smaller, they might not get, I mean, the information, or maybe the heading, okay. But from that, if you know maybe the type of font they would prefer, because you could do research, whereby you ask people, like a survey, between this font, that, 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 which one would you prefer? They will tick you know, this one, this one. So you know, okay, this is the type of what they most of people like, right? So out of those is where you, you develop what is called a, a, a headline policy. So a policy, a headline policy is like, it means all your headlines are, or that are going to be written on similar stories. You are going to be using all those uh, guidelines. You could say that, okay, we'll be using maybe new romance, new, uh, new romance, eh? In the like a font, right? Uh, uh, the typeface, eh? and then we're going to be using size maybe 32, right? So, whatever you're going to do to, to put it in your policy, when you are going to be writing articles, right? If it's an article, maybe it's for TV, but those are going to be the guidelines for you to be following in terms of maybe let me say typography, right? Uh, all this talk about the size, uh, typeface, uh, the font size, um, and the, all these elements that you need to add, add to, 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 to make the headline appealing, right? So you, you do that. Add the okay. Let's see, see, and then. Typography determination. Um, I think this is closer to, to, to what we talk about on, on the second one, whereby it's like you have a specific elements of typography that you're going to be uh, following, right? Like you, you, you say, uh, if it's a headline, and if there is a specific news whereby they have got a rule to say all the headlines, these are the elements they're going to be following in terms of. Uh, Typography, right? Um, uh, you could also uh, look at the, um, I mean, the, I mean, let's just say in, in general, 
uh, if you think about uh, uh, according to this is apart from just the normal community, I mean the uh, decision that you, you do, but you, you as I said that you are linking to the ones that when you uh, have a story, they are going to be it's going to be uh, maybe easily uh, understood or read, like if you talk about readability, right, by the audience, the your own particular audience, right? So you stick to those particular decisions of uh, uh, ty uh, typography, right? Um, then this is just general elements that you can think about or what to do on the headline, yeah, apart from the, the ones that you talked about. If you want now to come up, apart from removing the typographical elements, you want to come up with your headline, first it means you have to understand the, the story completely, right? Because you know what font you are going to use, maybe other elements, right? You cannot, you cannot just read the, maybe you have, you have understood the story halfway, right? Then you are writing a headline, right? It might end up to say that maybe you are misleading the people, but the, when you are coming up with the headline, it means you should uh, uh, have all the facts of the story as a whole. Because the headline should portray not a part of the story, right? Should appear to represent the whole story, right? Which is an important element, right? Um, base the headline on the story's main idea, which should be in the lead or introduction. If it's in the print, if you remember, you start the headline, then you have what is called a lead, right? So a lead is called like that first paragraph that summarizes the story. It's like a summary of the story. So in the lead is where you can find the main idea. So if you want to have a good headline, look with your lead and ask yourself which is the main idea in this lead. Because on the headline, you are going to just use a few words, right? So probably you find something, uh, we can say, if I can use these words, we will represent everything, right? So that could be a good approach, right? So don't use in the headline facts that are not in the story, right? Which is now the most issues or the most the one of the problem that some complain about to say headline in that chapter or a story of sila sana gabe zimenes right so once you have that scenario people will say this is a misleading headline so headline if it's got to to, to be uh, casted it should be of something that is going to be found in the story not just to make it at, at appealing right you see, if you're talking about disaster on the channel, if somebody read the article, should feel that they think there is a disaster, right? Because sometimes you, you will talk about disaster. When somebody read the article, you see there's no disaster in here, right? It's just maybe a, a small issue, right? So, something like that. Um, don't repeat the exact wording of the story in the headline. This is a common mistake, right? You find sometimes some of the headlines, they will repeat the same word that is on the headline inside the story, right? If you want to have a good headline, it was talking about something, right? So you can talk about the same thing, but use other words that will talk about the same thing, not the exact word, repeating the exact phrase, right? It will uh, not be appearing. If a story qualifies, a statement, the headline should also. All right. Um, I mean, uh, I think this, this statement, I, I wanted to, to remove this, this statement because this, this was not, I mean, giving me the actual, the, the information yeah. in its full sense. I think there's something missing in this one. But let's, let's uh, go for the obvious. Avoid ambiguity, insinuation, and double meanings. Eh? I know that he, some of them deliberately do that, right? To have double meanings, eh? I I know, but maybe when it comes to sports and the feature stories, eh? I think that would be acceptable because sports they tend to be poetic, feature stories they tend to be creative, right? But if you talk about uh, 
straight news stories, right? You, you, a headline should, should mean what it says. You can't have a headline that says one thing and it means something different. I think people do that, right? So that one is something, I mean, you see, because you, 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 you make it awkward by being vague or, ambig or having ambiguity. Ambiguity, it means it's not clear, right? Insinuation, it means you are talking about something, but you are meaning something, right? You know the person is poor, then you are calling him rich, right? Everybody who knows that this is a poor person, and they know what you are insinuating, right? That ah, this is just a mockery, right? So something like that uh, is not the usually avoid all having double meanings, right? Whereby you know that this word, the way I'm using this word, will mean two things at at the same time. So that is not usually <coughs> encouraged. Um, let's see here. When it comes to the wedding choices, which is just basic information, that is also also some of these are, are appropriate to other comprehension writing. Be specific. Be uh, be specific, accurate, clear, concise. Right. So that's why we say we don't have to be to have ambiguity. Right. Don't repeat the keywords in the same headline, right? So if it's a headline, you're talking about something, and you know there's a keyword in the headline. That keyword should not be repeated in the same headline. That would be problematic, right? So avoid the clear or little names, phrases, and abbreviation. I think this is an obvious. If you check... Um, Broadcast style, I think it's one of you know, that, that, that book. If you, I think you've read that book. Uh, it's just a, a rule for headlines, right? You, you, you can't put a name and an unknown name in a headline. A person that people have never heard and then you are putting him in the headline. For example, John Peedy arrested. So people will say, okay, who is John Peedy? Right? Or oh, nobody, you can't even say John Peedy. If it's a headline, you are going to say Piri arrested because the main aim of a headline, you you don't make it clumsy, right? You want to make it as simple as straightforward, and you use it as few words as possible. So you don't write headlines as if it's just, especially when it comes to print, right? You don't write a headline, print headline as a statement, a full statement. Usually, you phrases and you remove some other elements. You don't usually use them, like if you see. Johnny Piri, Piri. So if you know that when you say Piri, people will know what you're talking about. That can be in headline. But if you say Piri, and the people will be asking, which Piri is this one? We know a thousand of Piris. That could be not a good headline. No wonder if there are many people, you see, you are either, you have to, to talk about the action of what has happened than the name. If it's a well known people, a person, eh? It's when you can put the, the name in the headline. But now, when you put the name in the headline, it should be that it, when the people read it, should be should know exactly automatically, right? For example, when they say Chakwera did this, I don't think anybody will guess what Chakwera did. Everybody knows what Chakwera did. And uh, you can have, I think it's all the same rules whereby I think it, when it comes to even the, the names that have got the abbreviations, acronym. Let me, let me say abbreviations like uh, JK something. If you can have a name with the abbreviations or, or those abbreviated, uh, or let me say initials, right? It should be that you are adding the initials because if you don't, people don't recognize the name. We have got some, for example, JF Kennedy, right? George W. Bush, right? If you say George Bush, or if you say Bush, there was a George Bush senior, there was a George W. Bush, people don't know. So, you make sure that he, people know. So, that, that's to do with the, uh, the name. So, of, uh, in general rule of thumb, unknown, little known names are not supposed to be there, and, and, and phrases and abbreviations that are not useful. 
don't use the pronouns alone and, and identify it, right? Whereby you are using a pronoun, people have to be thinking, who is he? Who is she? Eh? Something like that. So as a headline, if you want to come up with a good headline, you don't, you don't use something like that. Alliteration should be in, in, intentional and not change the general tone of the story. So alliteration is like part of the repetitions, right? So there would be specific repetition for a reason. To, 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 you are sending all the message, not, not like accidental, or that is, will make it sound awkward. Um, on the punctuations, which is, this is now one of the rule of thumb, that people, some of them don't, they don't use punctuations sparingly. Usually, punctuations are not usually used. In headlines, there are very few, just like in broadcast right? news, whereby in print news, as a, as a whole, you use everything, right? In headlines, you use few. In the broadcast news, you don't usually use punctuations, only commas, and very few, because in broadcast, people are not, they don't see punctuations, right? You can't put an exclamation mark in a broadcast story. Have we ever heard somebody reading and shouting at one place? Because exclamation, it means you should raise your voice, isn't it? So, exclamation mark, um, maybe hyphen. Hyphen could work, but somehow it doesn't make sense because in the broadcast news, if you put a comma, if you put a full stop, if you put a, a maybe apostrophe, if you put it, all those things, when you put the elements of punctuation, when you put them, what will happen to a reader? He, will, he or she will make a pause. It will sound the same. It's like a pause. So you don't want to say that usually in broadcast news, it's usually use a comma. If, let me say punctuation are used usually if you want the reader to make, to, to, to pause somewhere. Okay, but when it comes to headlines, uh, don't usually, they are very sparingly used. There shouldn't be a reason why you are using punctuation, like the comma. You use the comma because you don't want to use, let me say, uh, you know, maybe you don't want to use articles, right? Or you don't want to use conjunction, right? If they say, wakuti and wakuti. In a headline, you don't want to say Peter and something. You just want to say Peter something. So because of that, you just, you will put a comma, right? Peter, comma, something, then you say something. That's it. Because when you try to, to add, uh, I mean, additional elements, we will just make a, uh, a headline more. So don't eat up space with conjunction, as I say here. You do away with your conjunctions instead of using a comma as exactly what I'm talking about, right? So that's like here, this is an example, right? Say, Principal and the parents meet on school rules for next year, right? So there's principal, parents agree on school or new school rules. That's a headline, right? It means the first one is we can even see that's too long at the a little bit cumbersome. This one is straight to the point and shorter, right? So usually headlines that are kind of like punch headlines eh, could be similar, similar to the ones we are seeing where but you are just straight you don't want to make it as a statement uh sentence whatever especially if this is for for print because this would be different if we you're talking about uh, radio or television eh, they could maintain this the top one right but if you're talking about the magazine the newspaper the like the top the, the bottom one is is the, what we're talking about now when it comes to grammar and this is an important uh, area, I mean, I made a point because it's one of the mistakes that is common, right? Articles, the use of articles like a, and, and the, they are not, they are omitted, right? In a headline, you're not supposed to have a, or and, or the, right? Because usually they, they, they take a lot of space. So usually, you, you, I mean, you, you remove them, you, you omit them, right? Like here, this is an example. A new fire engine helps make the house safer, right? New fire engine helps make houses safer. There is not there. 
And this one, because of that, you see, it's smaller. And the A is not there at the beginning, as you can notice. Um, also, there is not there. So, this is how you can come up with a good headline, right? Because the, most of the, the problem is when some people are coming up with headlines, they don't keep in mind these rules. Okay, if there's an, an, an article, articles usually you don't use, you use them. Well, they will just make a same, I mean, headline much more longer, right? So if you keep this in mind, it's going to be it's an, uh, something that is helpful. Um, okay, so just just one of the headline, and there's also another element uh, that in, uh, also you 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 deal with when you are coming with headline headlines, which is the headline weight, right? Um, and the headline weight is just a matter of uh, something to do with the font right whereby you manipulate the font to be to 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 i mean to be much more appealing by making it either maybe bold but bold is one one of them of making it heavier when it's bold uh, i think if you remember that we talked about uh a typeface as a that a character like the way it is but now font it has got a family, right? So font, you if you can manipulate a font, a typeface, to be uh, the same one, which is not board, the same one board, right? So this being board, it's like what you are doing is you are making it heavier. And it says heavier because when you look at it, assuming it was something. And, and I think these terms are used because the, as we remember initially, the the uh, I mean the the characters characters we are talking about like uh, this uh, letter characters eh? initially they were physical characters right they were made made from metals that's why that table cast cast right because when they say cast it's like you are casting a metal right uh, whereby you take him right, a middle uh, proper process and then you come with a metal. Metal, you make a shape into something, right? So the original fonts or typefaces, let me say, they were actual uh, metals that were casted. No wonder when you wanted to have a body character, it was heavier than a thinner one. So that's where the heaviness came from. To say if his body is heavy, is if his ultra board is much more heavier. So the obvious, the obvious reason of making it bored is, is the same because you, if it's bored, it means it can be seen from very far, being being bored, right? And it 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 it, it is, I mean, it it stand out eh, within the characters. If you can have even the characters, or you can, you can see with the text that that are showing you here, the words that are in bold, they do stand out from the rest, right? So, as a headline, that's what you want. You want something that is going to stand out, right? So, uh, you make it stand out by making it, it heavier. Well, that's one of the, 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 the process. How do you make it heavier? Making it bored, right? You, see, you are making it heavier. Because you have, if it's extra bored, it will be much more appealing. And also, uh, what else you talk about here? Okay, so here again to say there's another way of, again in terms of making it heavier is the issues to do with the case presentation right if the characters are in lower case when i say lower case it means smaller letters right lower case letters are the uh, upper case letters upper case letters are taken to be or are perceived to be heavier than lower case letters right so if you are you are able to make it heavy, it's either you say, okay, I'm not going to make it bo make, make them bored, but I'll just make them be uppercase letters. They will achieve the same element. Because they will how do you know that they are heavier? They say if you can check the space, because if you remember we talked about uh uh lead, leading, yeah? leading like the space, right? The space between what did you say leading leading was? We talked about leading, we talked about the other. The space is it the space between characters, is it? But whatever the case, but it's space. If you think about 
where there are the, the upper letters and see where there are smaller letters, right? You see where there are smaller letters, they look, they appear to be more space around the characters, right? Where there are upper letters, it seems like there's very little space around. So you can even see that suppose some of the things like, okay, if we, uh, if you can have uh, letters in uppercase, for example, I think people can read.